Hello, everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a high updo. Um, and it's going to be high and it's going to be curly up here. And it's just good for the bride or the bridesmaid that wants it all up and off her face, um, all the hair off her face as well. So this is how I've started out by sectioning it. Um, I made a ponytail and I sectioned it from the top of the ear all the way to the top of her head, okay? And then we're going to pull that up into a ponytail. But before you do that, um, I want you to back comb throughout this whole ponytail section. That way, as we're pinning into this ponytail, we'll have cushion underneath for the pins to go into. So on each side, I've taken the hair from the ear forward. And then I also took this top triangle section. So we're leaving the whole front of her forehead off. And then there's a triangle section right here in front that I'm leaving out. And I'll put that aside for later. So once you've created the ponytail, then you're gonna go through and you're gonna take about one, one and a half inch sections, curl it and spray it with a texture spray or use a texture powder so it has some grip to it. That's kind of the key to get a nice full um, updo at the top of the head rather than have it be like a flat, tight looking ballerina bun. So once you've done that, you're gonna work um, from top to bottom of the ponytail. The top of the ponytail, you're gonna take your first section and we're gonna flip it up and away from you, so toward the front of the head. So you'll go with the curl, flip it up like this, and then you're gonna hold it where you wanna pin it, but before you pin it in, you're gonna go through and just gently pull on the curl like this so you get it a little bit fuller, a little bit bigger before you pin. And that's gonna work because you have that texture spray in there. And then you'll pin it right into the base of the ponytail, which is all back home, so you have a nice cushion for that. I'm gonna take another section then from the top and do the same thing. You flip it up towards the front and then go through and gently pull it out so it's a little bit looser and then pin that as well. Now, when you're at the middle of the ponytail, instead of pinning it up towards the top of the head, you're actually gonna pin it into the middle of your ponytail. So I'm gonna take this middle section, flip it up again, so I'm working with the curl that I already have, and I'm gonna make it loose. So pulling it out like this, just in little sections. Again, it has texture spray in it, so that's why it's gonna stay. And I'm actually gonna pin it right into the ponytail. So instead of being on the base of the head, it's gonna go into um, near where the grip is. So I'm gonna take my bobby pin and put it down into that. You'll have enough hair around here that you won't see any pins sticking out. Now that I have one in the middle, I'm gonna do one more in the middle. So we'll have two on top, two in the middle. And I'm doing the same thing, flipping it up and then pulling it out loosely. And then I'm gonna pin this one into my ponytail as well, not on the head, but into the ponytail, like that. So you can already see how it's getting nice and big. Now, we'll take some of the hairs that you've curled on the side do the same thing. So I'm turning it over, pulling it out loosely, and I'm gonna pin this one at the scalp. I'm doing that because I want it to be wide and full. I'll mirror that and do it on the other side. And the reason I do it that way is because you wanna have balance in your updos. And one of the best ways to achieve balance is to work back and forth. So if you do something on this side, go and do it on this side and back and forth, back and forth. And then you can always take a step back and take a look at it to make sure you're still being balanced. Now you notice I'm leaving out the ends because I want the ends to be loose and soft. If you want everything to be contained, when we're all done, we can go back through and pin these in as well. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them out. So as you're coming to the bottom strands, I'm gonna tuck it under, so I'm working with the curl, pulling it under like that, and doing the same thing where I pull it out and then pinning it to base of the head into that back combing that I've created. And then I'll go through and do the same thing on this side. Now, once you've done all this, you can give it a little bit of hairspray because this is your good base. All right, when you're done with this base, 
Now what I want you to do is go to that triangle section that you created. So I left this up here. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to gently back comb it. So I already have some texture spray in here and I already have some hairspray. And then you're going to curl this section. I'm going to curl it and I'm going to use this section to kind of make more volume at the top and have some hair to play with. So if you pull all the hair back into a ponytail right off the bat and you pin it all down, then you run the risk of having the front of your bride's hair look like maybe it might be too tight, it might be bumpy, it might be too slick and not really have um, maybe the flexibility to be creative in the front. So that's why I like to leave this triangle section out because then I can play with the volume in the front and I'm not committed to the hair all being already stuck into the ponytail. So if that makes sense, that's why I leave this out because when you're working with the front of someone's hair with a look that's this high, you have to really make sure you nail it in the front so they really like it. All right, so once I have this triangle section, this is where my volume's gonna be. So like I said, you can kind of play around with the front of the mirror, asking your bride how big she wants it to be. So if she wants a lot of volume right here, then what you wanna do is gather this all in one, between your fingers and you can hold it loosely and then pull this out so you have some volume right in the front. And then you can just take your pins and stick them straight down into the base of the hair here. And it doesn't need to be super, super secure because all the rest of this hair here is gonna be pinned so you'll already know that that will stay. But you wanna keep this nice and soft so that you can play with the volume by tweaking it, by pulling it out like this, asking your bride in the front if she likes how it looks straight on. And then with these pieces here, what we're gonna do <clears throat> is loosely pin them into this high updo that we already created. So you'll take the hair that you have here and follow the curl. So what I mean by that is letting the curl fall as you already curled it and just see where it wants to go. So if you want to pull it over here a little bit, over here, but you're not going to pin it to the base of her head. You're going to pin it into the updo that you already created. So I'm actually taking my bobby pin and going straight into it and I'm just going to weave it in and out. So I'm not securing that by taking this, opening it up and making it flat against the hair. I'm putting it in like a needle and threading it in the hair like that. So you can follow the curl and then just thread it into the updo. And then you'll be able to play with it by kind of pulling it out and letting it fall where you want. So then it's really nice and loose and soft. After you've done that part and you've got these pinned how you want, then you can take your sides, which I've already curled, and decide how you want to pull them back. So some people will want to pull them all off the face like this. And if you want to do that, and you can work in the same way that I just demonstrated by pulling all the hair up, securing it with a pin here, and then letting these curls fall softly and pin them into the updo that you already created. Your other option is to take this in sections. So maybe take the top section like this and you can loosely twist. And we can make it soft by pulling it out a little bit and then I'll pin this into the side here. And then you'll have these ends to work with. So I'll be able to take these ends and then turn them into the curl and pin them around the base of the updo. And then you'll continue by bringing this up and doing the same thing. So by leaving this part out first, then you can make it really soft on the face when you're bringing it up, or you can pull it all off the face and have your bride look at how much volume, how big that she wants it. Um, as you're pinning. So just to recap, start with your ponytail from the ear back and back home that first and make that foundation. And then after that, you can bring down that triangle section and then bring up the sides to make a really soft and pretty updo that's high up and off the face and off the neck. And then, like I said before, if you want to leave these pieces out, you can keep it nice and soft by just letting these hang, or you can actually tuck in the curl, roll it, 
and pin it into the base of your updo that you created up here. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And you can follow us at the Updo Collective. We're on Instagram and also on Facebook. And please join our private Facebook group where I post tips and talk about all things wedding hair. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time.